It is hot. Summer is hot. Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Camille. This is Phoenix facing the wrong direction. This is Griffin and you're watching Mailer Husky. If you want to learn more about how to manage your busy life while still giving your dogs their best life, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tap that little notification bell so you never have to miss a new video. Or maybe you just like watching cute dogs on the internet, that's cool too. Today we're gonna talk about something a lot of us dread, decluttering. I find that I don't wake up in the morning and say, oh, I'd love to declutter something today. But while I'm doing it, once I get myself to the point where I'm doing it, it's actually pretty fun. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna give you some simple, easy steps on how to declutter your dog's toy box. In the realm of dog ownership, next to maybe Halloween costumes, your dog's toy box is probably overflowing. If you're like me, you think every single toy is cute and you must have it, until you end up with toys overflowing everywhere. Every now and then, you're gonna have to reassess, and that's what we're gonna do today. First things first, you need to have a designated spot for those toys. Maybe it's a toy box, maybe it's a drawer. Whatever it is, figure out what that spot is gonna be and give yourself a limit. I bought this basket to put my dog's toys in. And for me, the principle is if it doesn't fit in that basket, do we really need it? This is where you set your limits. You can decide whatever they are. Maybe your dog needs an entire closet of toys. That's fine as long as that is the designated toy closet. Now it's important to note that you are not the only person who gets to decide what toys stay and what toys go. At the end of the day, these are your dog's toys, so they should have a say in what you're going to keep and what you're going to throw away slash donate. So step number two is to take all the dog toys and dump them out. I know it sounds counterintuitive. When you do this, of course, every toy is gonna to look interesting to your dog. So you wanna leave it out for maybe a day or two so you can see which toys are the ones that make it around the house, which toys have made it into other rooms, which toys have made it outside, which toys have made it into your dog's kennel. Those are the ones you know you're gonna to wanna to keep. Step three, you're gonna to wanna to make three piles. A pile to keep, a pile to donate, and a pile of lost causes. That brings us to step four, toy assessment. I find that the easiest way to decide which pile these toys goes into is to answer these questions. Question number one, has my dog used this in the past year? Question number two, is it seasonal? As in, will it look cute in some holiday photos or Halloween photos? Number three, does this specific toy hold sentimental value? There is a Snoopy toy that we've kept for 10 years because it's Phoenix's favorite toy. It's big and it's bulky and it kind of doesn't really fit great anywhere, but it brings back really, really good memories. On top of question three, question 3B is, is it customized? Does it have your dog's name on it? Does it look like them? Was it made specifically for them? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this toy definitely goes in the keep pile. A toy that gets regular play, a toy that brings back good memories, and a toy that's seasonal that you could use every single year. Those are good ideas to keep. Now, if you answered no, then you move on to the next step and you decide whether or not this toy is good enough to donate or if it's a lost cause. Now, if you're like me, you don't really have a lot of time to go fixing toys. And I've come to the conclusion that if I put a toy aside and I say, I'm gonna sew this hole up later or I'm going to do something to fix this toy to make it workable again, I'm never going to do it. I just know that about myself. So in this moment, right there and then, I decide, is this toy good enough to give to another dog or has it lived its life? Usually if there's too many holes in it, there's no more stuffing, the squeakers don't work, those are definitely in my toss pile. Everything else that has been gently used still has squeakers and stuffing intact go in the donate pile. A really important piece of this is that you have to commit. I've definitely done it before in the past where I say, okay, I'm gonna donate these toys, but I'll do it in like a week. I'll leave these in the garage just in case I need to go get some later or if I need them for something else. I never need them another time. Those things will sit in my garage for a year and then I realize later, these have been in the garage for a year. Once you decide what goes in the donate pile, go and donate it. Do it within that week. Get it done as soon as possible so that you don't end up decluttering your dog's toy box but then cluttering your garage. You're not trying to move the problem around in your house, you're trying to get it out. Once you've gotten all these piles straightened out, you donated all your toys, you can go ahead and put all of those keep toys back in your designated toy place. And there you have it, you decluttered your dog's toy box. Usually I like to do this exercise when I see that the toy box is overflowing. I don't really have like a, oh, I do this every like six months sort of thing. You can decide for yourself how often you wanna do it. For me, the container is what defines how many toys we keep in the house. So if they don't fit in there, it means I need to do this exercise all over again. Let me know in the comments section below if any of these tips helped for you and what other things you want me to focus on on this channel. I hope it can be really helpful. Right? 
it can be so helpful. Another thing we focus heavily on in this channel is time management, and you can find an entire playlist on that right here. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Friday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you wanna see my last video, you can go here. And if you wanna see more organization tip videos, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This Is A Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye.